The Krebs cycle. What is a Krebs cycle? The Krebs cycle, also known as the citric acid cycle, or tricarboxylic acid cycle, TCA, is a series of chemical reactions that occur in the mitochondria of cells. It converts energy stored in carbohydrates, fats, and proteins into energy in the form of ATP, which is used by the cells. Why is Krebs cycle called citric acid cycle, or tricarboxylic acid cycle, TCA? The Krebs cycle is also known as the citric acid cycle or the tricarboxylic acid cycle. Because it is called citric acid cycle because the first molecule formed in this cycle is citrate. It is called tricarboxylic acid cycle because of the presence of tricarboxylic acids. Citric acid. Isocitric acid. Alpha-ketoglutaric acid. And succinic acid. In the pathway. Where does Krebs cycle occur in cells? The Krebs cycle occurs in the different places, in eukaryotes and prokaryotes. In eukaryotic cells. The cycle takes place within the mitochondrial matrix. The gel-like space within the inner membrane of a mitochondria. In prokaryotic cells. The Krebs cycle occurs in the cytoplasm of cells. Is Krebs cycle aerobic? Or anaerobic? The Krebs cycle is an aerobic process. It requires oxygen to function effectively. Although the cycle itself doesn't directly consume oxygen. The reduced coenzymes. NADH and FADH2 produced during the Krebs cycle need oxygen to be oxidized in the electron transport chain. To replenish the supply of NAD plus and FAD required for the Krebs cycle to continue. Electron transport chain is a subsequent stage of aerobic respiration and it requires oxygen as the final electron acceptor. What is the mechanism of Krebs cycle? The Krebs cycle involves a series of reactions that involve the oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A leading to the release of carbon dioxide and the production of energy carrying molecules like ATP, NADH, and FADH2. Let's discuss it in detail. Step 1 is the starting point. The cycle begins with acetyl CoA a molecule derived from the breakdown of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. Next step is oxidation. Acetyl-CoA combines with oxaloacetate, a 4-carbon molecule, to form citrate, a 6-carbon molecule. Then comes the reactions. The citrate molecule then undergoes a series of reactions, including oxidation, decarboxylation, and the release of high-energy electrons. These high-energy electrons are captured by electron carriers, such as in ADH and FADH2. These electron carriers will later be used in the electron transport chain to generate more ATP, the cell's primary energy currency. The last step is regeneration. The cycle ends with the regeneration of oxaloacetate, allowing the cycle to repeat and process more acetyl-CoA. Relationship of Krebs cycle to other processes. The Krebs cycle is linked to glycolysis, which occurs in the cytoplasm, and the electron transport chain, which also takes place in the mitochondria. What are the products of the Krebs cycle? The eight steps of the Krebs cycle produce the following molecules. One molecule of ATP, three molecules of NADH, and one molecule of FADH2. Additionally, two carbon dioxide molecules are produced and released as waste. Elaboration ATP This is a high-energy molecule that directly fuels cellular processes. NADH This is an electron carrier that donates electrons to the electron transport chain. A subsequent step in cellular respiration to generate more ATP. FADH2. Similar to in ADH, this electron carrier also donates electrons to the electron transport chain. Carbon dioxide. This is a waste product that is released from the body through respiration. 